Hi there, people of the internet. Uh, my name is Robert, and I oversee the outdoor education program here at Camp Wilson. Uh, we just figured that you guys might want to meet some of our nature center animals, so we're going to talk about a few of our turtles today. They are hiding in this little tub here, but if you take a look, we've got two guys in here. Uh, one, this one is named Maximus, and then this one right here is named Boxan, and they are both box turtles. Um, they're actually eastern box turtles, and there's a few cool things about these guys that I'm going to tell you about. But the first thing that you should know is that eastern box turtles are part of a bigger species of just box turtles, and there's about six or seven different kinds of box turtles that are all over the United States and kind of all over the rest of the world as well. Uh, the eastern box turtle is the most common and the most native to our region here in Ohio, and they are actually common pets as well. In some states, though, they're actually considered uh, at risk of being endangered or endangered. Maine is the only state that considers them endangered, and that's due to like traffic and different things like that. But here in Ohio, they're pretty safe. So one of the coolest things about these guys is actually what's on the bottom part of their shell. And the fancy word for the bottom part of their shell is the plastron. Uh, and their plastron is actually what's a bilobed, which just means two parts. And so if you see this little hinge right here, uh, he's actually using the restroom. <laughs> but this hinged part right here allows them to close their shell completely off and that protects them from a lot of the dangers that they might run into. Uh, these are forest dwelling turtles and so what that means is they actually can live in the mud, they can live under the trees, under the logs, all kinds of different things that will keep them safe. They like it hot, but not too hot, and so they'll use a lot of those things to keep themselves protected from that. When we hold these guys, we typically tell people to hold them like a cheeseburger, and so you'd hold them with both hands, one around each side, and that's just so they can't use their hands to get uh, leverage to get out of there. But I'm gonna come a little closer here for you. If you take a look, right here, if she'll let me, but, a lot of our box turtles typically have semi-webbed feet, and that'll allow them to get more traction if they are in the water. But, where is it? These guys do typically just stay on land. So here's that hinge I was telling you about, and that'll allow her to actually close it all the way. She probably won't go, she's pretty comfortable with me, but yeah. So. That is Boxan right here, and then I'll bring up Maximus for you. <laughs> He's a little more lively, I'd say. But we'd love for you guys to come out, meet these guys, see them anytime that uh, we're having any programs open. Thanks so much, and I hope you guys have a good day.